I am Chris Wise, and we're here at Wise About Flower Mound, and I am here with Chris Bowen and with Bowen Pools, and we're in his showroom, Great Tiles, so I'm just so excited. He's a fairly new member of our Flower Mound community, and just really like gangbusters, so I am so excited to get to interview him today. So Chris, tell me about your company. Yeah, so our company's called Bowen Pools. We do service, repairs, renovations, we build custom pools, okay. we do leak detection, we do a little bit of everything. Oh, leak so. detection too. Okay, so that's something that comes up on inspection reports. So It is. Okay, great. So basically, if it involves a pool, we want to be able to do it. Okay, wonderful, so. wonderful. So you've been in business how long now? So we've been in business for three and a half years, but okay. I've been doing this, I've been in the industry probably about 15 years now. 15 years, wow, so you're definitely an expert. I don't know if I'd say an expert, but I've been around the block a few times. You know, and, and you were telling me that you know that you've had like two hundred jobs. I mean, just in yeah. Your... So we do a lot of renovations and we do a lot of service. Oh. Um, so we've probably done two hundred renovations here in the area oh um, over the last several years, and then uh, we probably build ten to fifteen pools a year as well. Wow, that is great. Well, I can certainly understand the renovations because. There's times when I go to a house and it's a gorgeous house and the pool still has like that brick coping, you know, and oh, yeah. it's like, oh my gosh, okay, we're <laughs> going to have to do something with this because it just doesn't look like with the house itself. So Yeah, absolutely. And there's some really easy things that you can do that can kind of spruce up a pool. Changing the coping is one of them. Yeah. It's fairly inexpensive. You're talking $2,500, $3,000 to change out the coping on a pool. And so if somebody's wow. getting ready to move, it's an easy way to spruce up the pool and that make it is. not look so dated. Yeah. Oh, that's a great idea. I didn't realize it was that cost effective. It can be. Yeah. Because people, I mean, depending on what you pick, of yeah, course. Yeah, it's on But, and that's what happens is people think they're stuck with the pool. And I've even seen, like, people that have plaster pools go ahead and upgrade to one of our coating finishes. And yeah. it's not, like, you know, $20,000 either. No, exactly. And what a great, great upgrade. Great upgrade for what it looks like. A lot of people with the plaster, you having to do that, what, eight to 10 years? Yeah, so white plaster, they make it differently than they used to. So it oh, used to be okay. made um, with much stronger materials that we're not allowed to use anymore. Because they're not really EPA friendly. Uh, 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 <laughs> so realistically, they're saying five to seven years now on wow. a white plaster finish. Oh my gosh. So we really recommend pedal finishes a lot for that yeah. reason. Because we'll get 10 to 15 years out of those. Okay, and so in my little bit of pool knowledge, is it true that like the pebble finishes that the patent ran out or something and now it's almost like generic there's other companies or something no so there was never really a patent on okay. it okay so pebble tech was the original brand yeah the ones who kind of created it um they got together with uh the founders of wet edge um mm -hmm. those guys actually own the mines and so oh, wow. we do a lot of wet edge stuff okay. um, instead of Pebble Tech, but those two companies split probably 20, 25 years oh, ago. Gosh. Okay. And then, you know, people saw how popular Pebble was, and so they've created yeah. a lot of, you know, off brands such as Stonescapes and Crystal Stones and, okay. uh, you know, brands like that. So well, there's, there's a bunch out there. Yeah, and what's nice is when you have that um, the small little one, yeah, it's just nice. not as, as rough as, you know. It's it, a lot better. The old, you know, old days, Pebble Tech, it was like, oh my God, your bathing suit was all ripped up, your feet were ripped up, yeah, but now so it's, it's so much softer on your feet. It's very similar to what an aggregate concrete is, yeah. and so they've made it about a thousand times better. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's awesome. So, so gosh, um, so, you know, ideal customer is just somebody who's either wanting to renovate or install a pool. Yeah, or... absolutely. So I would say renovations are kind of our bread and butter. We do probably a hundred projects a year. Wow. Um, so ideal customer really is anybody who owns a pool. Yeah. So we, we want to cater to anybody who owns a pool. So whether it be service, okay. um, whether you need a repair or a warranty center with Jandy. So if you have Jandy equipment and you have issues with your equipment and it's still under warranty, you can call us. That's great. Um, and then of course, if it's not under warranty, still call us. Yeah, we'll still call us because yeah. we can still take care of it. Yeah, um, great. But our goal is to be able to do all things in the backyard. Okay, so, awesome. And I'm noticing you've got some turf samples. We do. So I are you turf. moving into turf or yes. you've been doing turf? Well, we do it on some projects. I wouldn't, you know, say call us if you're just wanting turf. Right, but, right. Uh, but we to will finish do out the backyard. Yeah, our goal is to be able to do everything in the backyard. So we want to, uh, you know, be able to offer that to our clients where we do it all. That's so, right. Yeah, I love turf. I actually have it in my backyard. I have it in my backyard too. Awesome. So I am so excited <laughs> about that. And what's been nice is we're not pulling weeds. 
Um, I, the biggest thing for us is we didn't want the maintenance, but then also when somebody comes in and mows and all that grass goes into the pool. And it's yes, like, it's yeah. horrible. So, yeah. And it's super nice on the feet. It doesn't get hot. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that's a big misconception is people think football field turf. Yeah. Turf that you put in your backyard right. is totally different. Yeah. And so and we've got dogs and we've got a toddler. and Oh, uh, so yeah, yeah, it's great. It is great. And it always looks so nice. Yeah. Exactly. It was, uh, we got ours done in the spring and then my neighbor, you know, his grass was dormant at the time and so now his is like our color. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Finally you got yours just like ours now. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I told my wife that if I could put it everywhere, I would. Yeah, I know. It'd be nice if they allowed it in the front, but you know, heaven forbid. Yeah, so. exactly. Exactly. <laughs> well, good. So, um, gosh, I'm trying to think if there's any other burning questions that people, oh, here's one. So people always ask me, salt versus chlorine. I have my own opinions about salt. Okay. I'd love to hear your opinions about salt. So I'm not a big salt fan. I'm so, not either. <laughs> so I've got a few reasons. So it's really corrosive. Yes. Um, so if you have like natural stone around your pool or I can any always sort of natural tell. materials, yeah. you can always tell a salt pool, especially if you have flagstone. Yeah. Um, you know, you'll start to see those big divots in the yes. top where you get in and out. Yeah. But you also see where it starts to layer that flagstone and yeah. you can see the different layers to it. Yeah. Um, and it does with all natural stone and it'll even wear out concrete yeah that's just corrosive it's it corrosive is. to your equipment it's corrosive to your furniture you know people say oh it feels so good on your skin and it does but there's other ways to achieve that yeah you know we can add minerals to the pool we can mm -hmm. use borates you know that'll okay. give you that nice silky feeling um there's UV other light to... i mean so yeah there's there's a, a hundred different options out there yeah. uv ozone um, there's many ways to go very minimal on your chlorine. Yeah. And salt doesn't even eliminate chlorine, it just right. creates its own chlorine. Yes, so, exactly. You know, it's a misconception. It I think is. there's a lot of people who um, they're like, oh, I'm going to switch this to salt. And I always make sure that I let them know, you know, definitely the coping, because you can, I mean, yeah. I show houses all the time, and it's like, oh, you know, is this salt or chlorine? I look at the coping, it's, it's salt. salt. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> So the big selling point that people sold it as was is that it was chlorine free and it was maintenance free and yeah. it's, it's not the case. You know, you may save a little bit in a mm -hmm. monthly maintenance mm, okay. if you take care of it yourself, but you have to replace that salt system every three to five years. Yeah. And, and then so, your equipment too, your yeah, pumps and exactly. all of that. So, and you know, those salt systems are a thousand dollars. Yeah, is where they start. Right. <laughs> right. And so yeah, it's not, so, not really saving money. It's, exactly. It's the same cost. So you could basically up upgrade your chlorine system to add some of those other features yes. that allows you to use less chlorine so that then you can um, still have a nice feel you're not smelling I mean it's exactly yeah so yeah. if you're smelling chlorine um, yeah. that typically means you have chloramines which is from sweat and urine in the water and the okay. chlorine reacting with that oh, okay. so you shouldn't smell chlorine oh, okay Didn't so if you do that means you should chop the pool okay well, I tell you, I don't know if you've ever been to Great Wolf Lodge, but you walk in there and it's like, oh my god! Yeah, it's. I mean, I understand they've got a bazillion. It's bay of love. Yeah, it's all exactly. <laughs> Whoa. I mean, I, I have a little bit of asthma, and it was like, oh my gosh, I can't stay here very long. It'll, so it'll yeah, take your breath away a little bit. Yeah, definitely. So that's that's one of the reasons Plano actually requires UV on all of their commercial pools. Oh really? Okay, just to be able to reduce that because. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, that's good. So I'm trying to think if there's any other burning questions from a pool. So um, do people winterize their pools around here? Or how does that work? So in Texas, no. So it doesn't get quite cold enough to okay. winterize pools. And so that water is still going to be too warm that if we were to cover a pool and just leave it, mm -hmm. um, you're going to come back with a really green pool come, okay. come springtime. So yeah. it's just too warm here. So it's more in the north and all of that. It is, okay. yeah. Where they're getting lots of freezing temperatures mm -hmm. um, and they're worried about pipes freezing. Okay. You know, there's at no point is your pipe going to freeze in Texas. Right. right? It, it's got to be below about 20 before okay. that happens. And so we may get that once a year, yes. once every other year. Yeah. So exactly. it's not, like, not often enough to justify winterization. Right. Right. Okay. Well, that makes sense. I'm trying to think if there's any other burning questions. Do you do pool covers? Do we you do have this. a service for that? We okay. Do. So we do loop block uh, pool covers. Um, they're awesome. Okay. Um, they're not inexpensive by any means. They start mm -hmm. around twenty five hundred dollars. Okay. Um, but it is a mesh cover that uh, you know really should last about ten years. Oh wow. So they're. Yeah, because, you know, we love our trees here in Flower Mound. That's exactly right. And that, that <laughs> is the hard part of fall, which, you know, we'll be coming into exactly soon. Right. And, 
Yeah. And Street's not fun. Yeah, not no, for full service. Not for full service. No, <laughs> no. Uh, when we had our house in Briarwood, usually Thanksgiving week, you'd have to oh, clean yeah. it like, or clean your skimmers like three times a day. Oh, yeah. I mean, it was, and we'd always yeah. want to go on vacation during that week. So we yeah, had a neighborhood kids to come and clean the skimmers three times. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We absolutely, that's one of the things we ask clients if they've got a lot of trees around their houses. Yeah. Please help us with that. You know, yeah. Not saying clean your pool while we're not there, but right. at least clean out the skimmer baskets for us. Yeah. You know, it goes a long way so that yeah. we show up, they're not, you know, stuffed. Mm-hmm. So it, yeah, it, it should hurt your pump. Well, that's exactly right. It hurts the circulation of the pool. It hurts your, your pump. It hurts your filter. Um, it can clog those pipes if it gets underneath the skimmer oh, basket, which yes. happens. Yeah. Um, so it can, it can do all those things. So it's, it's important to keep the leaves out of there. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Well, good. Well, I have enjoyed talking with you today yeah, and meeting you. So Chris and I are like this on Facebook. 